guys um today is um a very good day this is first ever podcast on this on this sports page so i have a special guest here and i'll allow her to introduce herself um um hi guys my name is mrs Ezine. i'm a wife i'm a mom of two beautiful girls and i'm living in canada with my family yeah Okay, um, I'm here to ask our guest some questions and um, I believe she will answer it all, right? Yeah. Okay, so, um, <coughs> excuse me. I, I wrote all the questions down. My first question, tell us about yourself, ma'am. About myself, um, like I said before, I've told you guys my name, my little background, a wife and a mom. Um, I did add, I love God. I know everybody loves God. I love God. <laughs> yeah. Um, I love staying on my own. I don't like crowd, like not crowd, crowd. Sorry about that, but I don't like so many friends. You get what I mean? I like my, um, my room, my bed, my house. I just love staying on my own. But um, as um, um, I love traveling. Also, I love traveling around the world. And uh, I what again? What again? What again? I love food. <laughs> I love food, and um, I love making money. Yeah, not that I love money. I love money, but I love making money. I love. I love working for money. Like, I don't know how to put it. I like earning my own money. Let me just put it this way. I love earning my own money so, so much. I, I hate depending on people. No, 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 that's not me. Okay. Yeah, that is all I have to tell you guys about me. <laughs> what can you say about um, um, the... The lady that posted online about Junior Pope's wife, you know, going out after a couple months, her husband's husband died. What do you have to say about that? You know, I want to hear your own opinion. What do you have to say about that act? Is it right or not? Like, yeah. Um, <laughs> all these uh, Bastardra internet children. I don't understand how someone would just wake up one morning, you know, set his or her camera and talk about people's life. I like I don't I don't I don't I don't just get it. I lost someone, my dear dad. I know how I felt and I'm still feeling up until now because of the loss, his absence. Yeah. I know how I feel. I know how I feel. So and good. No, talk more of his wife, okay. my mom. My daddy was her love, her best friend, her husband, her companion. Yeah. Just like yeah. that. You know? Like, I can imagine how she feels. Mm -hmm. Talk more of a young JP. Like... And oh my God, people don't have conscience anymore. And you feel that it's right for you to come online and make a video, that kind of video, about that widow. Will you train her kids for her? Will you, will you feed her and her children? She said there is money. How do you know? Are you living with them? How do you know that, that, that there is money? Eh? This woman came out to, 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 to do something that will fetch her money to feed her kids and herself. Her kids will go to school. Her kids will like to buy, she would like to buy clothes for her kids. This woman came out to work for her to earn money. So you want her to stay inside her house, cry. So you want her to come to, the, to, to, to stay in her room and start crying. You want her to stay indoors and start thinking about her husband? Like, I don't get it. I don't get how people reason these days. Hmm? 
This man is out to make money. This man is out to, to, to be happy. She deserves to be happy. You be that so. She deserves to be happy. She's happy you are complaining. I don't like this. Oh my goodness, Lord. You you push somebody, but you will not push, you will not tell the person where to fall. Her husband died early. Like the death, like I like. Now this one is trying her possible best to be happy. Can't you see her? Can't you see the way she was looking before and now? Is it by staying indoors that will make you know that, oh, she loves her husband, oh, she's marrying her husband? No! My mom was um, a proprietress then when she lost her husband, my dad. After a couple of weeks, she went back to school. Because governments will not, uh, governments will not hear that you lost your husband. You need to work for you to get paid. It's not by staying indoors and crying yourself I admit mean, shows that oh you love your husband so much. Oh you are more. No. You have to you have to you have to you have to stand up for your children. Now this woman is trying to be strong for her kids and her life. And you, you set up your camera and and start blabbing. Please, I don't want to get angry. Next person. I don't want I don't want to get angry. Sorry to cut your shirt. Sorry to cut your shirt. Um is it right? Is it, is it the right thing to say at this particular time? Is it is it is it is it Igbo cult? Is it Igbo tradition that you have to stay indoor like couple months or even couple years or couple weeks before you can go out and start your daily life at um that an Igbo lady by your name is in me? I know that you are an Igbo lady. So is it Igbo culture that you have to stay indoor without doing anything till one year? Or to after a couple months before you can now go outside and start making money to eat. Is it right? First of all, um, I'm an evil like, lady. Is it, is it a cost? Is it a tradition? Do you get what I mean? Okay. First of all, I'm an evil lady. Yes. Um, when someone um lost um her mm -hmm. husband. You um, wear white or black mm -hmm. for one year. Yes. During the time before the burial of your husband, you will not go anywhere. You are not allowed to go outside. You are not allowed to go because you are mourning. Yes. You, are not, you, you will not go anywhere. Then after the burial of your husband, you can, it, it's your choice. Let me just say it. You can choose to stay indoors for 100 years. Yes, you can choose to stay in those for hundred years. Yes, so um, I know for sure that you're going to wear that black. I think six to one year, six months. No, six months. Yes, six months, not one year. And I remember that my mom, my mom removed um her morning clothes um after six months. Yes, I don't know about other um villages or you know towns culture. Yeah. Ah, we told we the children that you gotta make yourself happy. You will not die because your husband died. He's dead, he's dead, his God is gone. Come make yourself happy. And that'll make you happy. Don't do uh, we are not in that uh, you know, make yourself happy. Our all our most toughest priority is for you to be happy. I know it, it was hard for her then. Yeah. But tradition, yes, you have to she's she that video, she, she wore black. The lady is even skinny. Like, you even see that she's, she's trying to be happy. She's trying to forget her loss. Even her, if, if you can see her face, you will see that this lady has been crying. Like, she, she cried that day. Ibo culture did not say you should stay indoors. You know, no, 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 no. It doesn't say you should stay indoors after the burial of your husband. Who will feed your children? You will wear your black or your white. Then you can go start up your start some start business back. So I don't understand why it is an issue that he went that that lady went out to you know for her job or to fetch to you know make ends meet. 
Is it right that that lady did that video? She's wrong, 100%. Is it is wrong for a lady that is mourning her husband. How does she want that lady to feel? It is very, it's wrong. I'm against that video. Yes, I don't like it. Mm -hmm. okay, my next question, what advice will you give to young people out there regarding social media, you know? Yeah, what advice will you give to young people on social media platform? Yeah, to prevent this, this um, online uh, palaver that has been happening online. What, what, what can you tell the young generation? Okay, my advice mm -hmm. to young people, first of all, if you're not 18 years, you don't have any business with social media. If you are not 18 years above, you don't have any business okay. with online, social media. Mm -hmm. Okay. So, and secondly, know what you say, know what you put out there. Be conscious of what you say, be conscious of what you do, because internet never forgets. Before you open your mouth and say something about somebody, put yourself in that shoes. No, like, ask yourself, how will you feel if you are the one? Be sensitive. Love yourself because anybody that loves his or herself will extend love to outsiders. Love yourself first. And don't say something that will hurt another person. Mind the choice of your words. That's all I have to say. Yeah. <laughs> Please share this video, like it, comment, and um, I will see you guys in my next one.